Hello, Zach. How's it going? Good. How's it going, Aaron? Good. We're doing a little, uh, I don't know, we haven't decided on a name for this yet, even though we've done <laughs> a bunch of these, but it's a, a new demo has been released. There was a weird, um, I don't know, like, showcase of uh, 3D Realms games, and uh, this is the one that I was most interested in. I am going to skip the intro because I don't care about the story, but uh, <laughs> have you ever played Blood back in the day? Did you ever play that game? I did not. This game is based very heavily on blood. Um, oh, look at this! Yeah, that's exactly some old timey graphics. Now, interestingly, you can't use the scroll wheel to pick weapons. You have to hold a button and use a weapon wheel. Uh, are you playing this with mouse and keyboard? I am. There's a lot of weird control things that I feel like they're gonna fix by the time they release this. But uh, this is a, a pretty old school type of game, and it's very violent. <laughs> I just cut that guy's head off. Oh, it's very bloody. Gra now you could grab the head. Is that something that you want to do? Yeah, I can throw it at people. Ah, now you have a ranged weapon. I can also pick up this chair and throw that if I want to. <laughs> Doom was a g or, uh, Blood was a game that I loved as a child, and I didn't remember what it was called for a super long time. It was lost to me. I kill this guy right now. I, uh, there was a, a grocery store where I lived when I was a child. I'm going to turn this audio down a little bit. Audio way down. Uh, there was a grocery store where I used to live, and next to it, one day, as a child, uh, a land place opened up, like a place you could rent out for birthday parties, and uh, they would just like let you all play in like a ring of computers that were connected up. Have you ever seen those before? It, it was very short lived. Yeah, I've seen things that are vaguely like that. Yeah. So I went in there with my dad, and they were like, "Hey, uh, we're trying to drum a business. You can just like play this game." And it was blood, but I did not know that because I was a child. And. Uh, <laughs> It was it blew my mind because of how violent it was. You have like a flare gun in that game, and if you shoot people with it, they just wander around on fire, screaming in pain. <laughs> and it was very cool. And uh, how old were you when this was happening? Who can say? I have no idea. But uh, <laughs> I was young. Um, and I play. I one v one the employer there, or the employee there, and I destroyed him because I was a child. And at one point, I remember I pressed like the C button to crouch. And he was like, oh, my God, how'd you know how to do that? You're like an elite gamer. And I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, I felt very good about myself. But anyway, fast forward to, uh, I think it was like a Games Done Quick a couple of years ago. Somebody speed ran this. And I was like, man, this is that game from my childhood. I'm talking about Blood, of course. Uh, and this is heavily inspired by Blood. And I find it to be very good. It's uh, very violent. You can kick people. I have not shown that. But uh, here, I'll kick this person right now. How do I kick again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How's this? <laughs> it kind of slows down if you do something cool. So I just killed two people with one bullet right there, and it slowed down. Man, your your kicks, like, just exploded that guy in blood. You can slide whenever you want by pressing a button. Yeah, the, the legs kicking out are, like, very satisfying. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I think there is a shotgun close to where I'm at. And that's when the game really opens up, but... So you said this is a demo and not early access? No, it's just like, uh, they were just like, hey, download this on Steam. It's completely free. Uh, I think it's just the first level. I've actually not gotten to the end of it. I've just been playing the first part a bunch of times. But uh, I love it. It's like, I liked, uh, what was that game a couple of years ago? Ion Fury? Uh or Iron Fury? Ion Fury. I really enjoyed that game, and they're actually coming out with like a 2.0 of that, or like DLC that I'm very excited for. We um, did a video on that back in the day. Yes, we did a couple videos, I think, because they came out with like a, a special mode as well. But uh, yeah, this is definitely your type of game. Oh, yeah. We've done, I feel like, multiple videos on games like this. I could play something like this forever because I just love it's like this is a basically a podcast game. You can just play this and listen to a podcast. Here's the oh, so here's the shotgun. Always great to see them just explode. <laughs> like, that the is story cool. is not super important. 
uh, you're basically just going around blowing up cultists, and uh, it's great. Here's here's like a, an assault rifle. How does this game look to you? I I am very excited for if they have uh, multiplayer. I'm sure they have that down the line. But I have often said I don't know if we've ever had this conversation, but um, I think that a battle royale type game or just like a game that has a, like a big online multiplayer element that had graphics like this or like a Duke Nukem or like a Doom. That hasn't been done before, I don't think. And I think that would do really well. Like an Ion Fury-esque battle royale where people are uh, like sprites instead of 3D characters, I think would be very fun to play. How's the uh, frame rate? It's great. You're watching it only 30 frames per second because it's through Discord. Right. But uh, it's pretty, it's very, very smooth because it's, you know, it doesn't have a lot to render, so it can be really maxed out. I was um, going to say that that would be like the the thing that would really determine whether I would want to play it or not cuz if if it's got a high smooth frame rate then it'll probably be fine but like uh what I'm watching now at 30 frames yeah. would probably give me a headache after a while. Yeah, for sure. I uh I'm very excited for this to come out. I I mean I I'm sure it's very early stages, but this playable demo is super fun and I they all they've only got up to go. Like they're going to probably release like new weapons and all that type of stuff and i have no idea like any sort of release frame i don't think they do either but so is this level based i would assume so uh i bet that it is i think the demo only includes uh oh, i'm out of ammo oh, i'm out of ammo on everything um, <laughs> yeah they definitely need to add like scroll wheel support <laughs> that's insane that they don't have that i don't know why i can't scroll wheel to change weapons that seems like a, a large oversight yeah. And also, I don't know, it's just like the default crouch was C, which is fine, but I changed to control. And the default yeah. slide was X for some reason, which I don't enjoy pressing. Ooh. Yeah, that is not a button I want to press. But, um... Can you expand the uh, FOV? You know what? I don't know. Probably you can. Render? Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. 100. I don't yeah. know what render scale is. I'm going to turn that all the way down and see what happens. Oh. Oh, it makes it very pixelated. Oh. I don't like that. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if the opposite if you go all the way up. Maybe that's what you were already on. I was already on that, yeah. Okay. But, like, yeah, like, there's no, like, the next, I don't think there is a next weapon button because they want you to use the mouse, or the uh, the weapon that's wheel. Very, like, controller-based uh control design <laughs> yeah i assume that this will come out on like switch as well because uh ion fury eventually did and these games are probably i mean the build engine i think w works on the switch that's been proven so mm. it should be easy to uh not that i know anything but I, I would assume it's easy to port things but i'm definitely gonna get this when it comes out because i keep playing this demo see look at this press brackets brackets I I and <laughs> I don't have any items, I guess, right now, but uh, this, I don't know. I love this aesthetic. It just it reminds me, I i got uh, Blood Fresh, whatever it's called. I don't know. There's like a a version on Steam where it's cleaned up a little bit and doesn't. it's not like a DOS game anymore. And uh, I will sometimes like be on a video call or just like uh, doing something else, and I'll just load that up and play that silently if I'm not like involved in the conversation because it's... It's so easy to just like run around and have a ton of fun in. <laughs> and this is, I think, very similar. Yeah, I, I'm i impressed with the look of this game. I think uh, the fact that you can run it at like a high frame rate and expand the FOV, like those are the things that I need in a first person shooter. Yeah. Uh, and so and just having that alone instantly makes me more interested in it but also like i uh, i'm with you on the fact that it would be really interesting to see like a multiplayer style game in with this aesthetic yeah it's like i don't know i i uh for a brief amount of time in college uh we did like land parties of very old games not to date myself but uh it's i had a old <laughs> I had a lot of fun um, just like running around with very, very low quality graphics in like a, a Doom setting or like a Duke Nukem setting. Um, and just like, uh, I don't know. I find that's not something that exists today. And I feel like this could maybe 
fill that void. I don't know. Ion Fury said they were going to implement some sort some form of multiplayer, but I don't know if they ever did. And I was excited for that. Um, or did that just mean co-op? Oh, maybe they did. But I don't know, man. I feel like a battle royale that is like sprite based and looks similar to this would be dynamite. I don't know if battle royales are going out of phase, but. Uh, I mean, I, Fortnite's still trucking, I think. So. It's true. Hard to say, but. You know, I read that uh, it, there might be a Last of Us Part Two battle royale. Oh yeah, I heard something about how they were gonna do something. They found like some game files of it or something. That like a large map. Because they, there's no there's no, no, no multiplayer in that right now. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, thinking about it now, that game kind of does make sense for just like a giant sort of open world, like survival based multiplayer. Yeah. Like that would be kind of insane, but I don't know. So is there like a boss fight at the end of this? Good question. Or, like, I've actually never gotten to the end of it. I have no idea how close we are to the end of it even. Um, have I reached the end of the demo? No, it's right here. <laughs> are you uh, also like finding secret pathways in this? No, I, I plan on playing this a bunch more and because I've already found like two or three secrets, but I assume there's a ton. I don't know where I'm headed, but I assume it's to some. I also have not gotten the hang of the, uh, actually did pretty good that time. I missed that jump the, uh, the last time I played. But, uh, For whatever reason, I, I'm finding the art style of this more appealing than Iconoclast or Ion made. Really? You know, it's the same engine. Uh, I mean, it's the build engine. Even though, yeah, I was going to say they're very similar. <laughs> but for whatever reason, it's striking me di differently than when we uh, looked at that game. There's a dead man on a table. Oh, Shame. look at these. Oh. A body Shame. hangs here. <laughs> oh, they're look! They're looking at me. I think. What? Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just swaying in the wind. Yeah. Well, the sprite just has to turn so because they didn't give it other angles. Yeah, I mean that's oh. Oh, trap! Watch out for the trap. I haven't got to this part yet, so there's a bunch of bear traps everywhere. I guess. I love ooh a key. I love a super pixelated, uh, oh no. Oh, I see what's happening. No one could have predicted this. This is great, actually. I hear a chainsaw. <laughs> it seems like there is a chainsaw in this area. I also hear a chainsaw. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe you should have started this room out by just blasting all of the Probably not a bad idea. The traps. Oh, here's a little something. A secret? You know, I don't know where that chainsaw was, but I guess maybe he's uh, not going to be an issue. I think if you head back that way, you might... I appear to not be able to... Uh... Oh, oh, I know what I have to do. A classic situation where a dynamite is the perfect thing to do. I think you, you've got these guys pegged. You know exactly all their tricks. Oh, there's the chainsaw. Oh, he can throw bear traps. Wow, well that explains why the bear traps were out there. I got a field kit, I'm not sure what that does. Some sort of healing item? You know, there's been a, a bunch of games like this that have come out recently that I haven't really taken advantage of. Like, Dusk is one that I was very interested in that I... I never ended up checking out, and there was another one that was more like thief oriented or based on thief. Um, I don't recall what that was called, but that also had a demo that people were very into. Uh, but this is a, a great type, like a great genre of, of game that I I absolutely love, and I am excited to play more. It occurs to me that there is not like a mini map or some sort of map. I wonder where if there you is. Can, like, no. Figure out. Yeah, I possibly didn't are. need to backtrack. This is farther than I've ever been. But instead of uh, watching me... Oh, hold on. Oh, no, that's just where I came from. Instead of watching me play around, I guess we should end the video. But uh, let us know if, what you guys think about this game. Is this something you would uh, check out? I definitely will be. I have wishlisted it, and I can't wait for more information on it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I might 
also check it out. It's free. It's free right now on the uh, on the store. Will it be free when the full game launches? No, I assume the full game will cost some amount of money. <laughs> Not a free-to-play battle royale. Not yet, but who can say what the future holds? My hope is that Cold that's Day. what's coming. <laughs> well, join us next time on another whatever we're calling these. We should video come up with, about games. We need to come up with a snappy name for uh, when we look at new video. We ha we haven't done a blind spotting in quite a while. That's true. I th I mean, technically, this counts as a blind spotting. Yeah, because you, like, you weren't aware of it, I guess. I wasn't aware of it, and so I guess we could file it under that, but I think maybe we need to come up with a new category for, like, new games. Because blind spotting was more about, like, older games that I liked that you hadn't seen and games that were old that you liked that I hadn't seen, so. Oh, I just fell. All right, let's end the video. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.